So in this example, why don't we focus in on the left kidney? You can see that there are cysts in both kidneys, but there is a T2 hypointense mass arising from the left kidney. It's hypointense to the adjacent renal parenchyma. Now, if you look at the post-gadolinium images, the standard post-gadolinium images are a little bit hard to interpret. Is there really enhancement within this mass, or is this lesion just intrinsically a little bit T1 hy hyperintense? But I think when you're evaluating renal lesions, it's these post-gadolinium subtraction images that are absolutely vital for coming down on the right diagnosis. Notice that whereas it's somewhat difficult to identify the focus of abnormal enhancement within this lesion on the standard post-gadolinium images, it is clear on the subtraction images, particularly in the venous and delayed phases, that there is peripheral nodular enhancement along the posterior margin of the mass. Now, this is an example of a papillary renal cell carcinoma. Very faint, very subtle enhancement. The enhancement tends to be greater as you go along in the later phases, venous and delayed. And often the subtraction images are going to be vital in terms of identifying that rather subtle enhancement. Now, papillary RCCs tend to have low levels of enhancement. They're often going to be T2 hypointense. And I think that MR can be a great modality for identifying these lesions. I've seen several examples where you, it's hard to really appreciate definite enhancement on the CT scan, but the post-gadolinium subtraction images on MR really allow you to make the right diagnosis.